All right, this is Maya. And uh, let's see. Hello, Maya. Welcome back. Hi. Yes, I'm back. She seems happy. Rainy out there today, isn't it? It is actually rainy out right, right now. Yeah, it's a good thing I put on my extra big raincoat this morning. Thankfully, it's supposed to clear up later. Ah, uh, well, gonna look weird with my giant coat tonight. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> what brings you here today, Maya? Um, right now I'm just nervous. I have the nerves. I've been trying to get my career off the ground for so long, like a really long time. And I still feel like I'm stuck on level one and... <sighs> Sorry, I know we've talked about all this before. I probably don't need to go over it again. Um, anyway, there's this conference that's happening next week, right? Like media, pro that's bad enough for my anxiety, but I was also so I invited to, to this to... party thing. It's like dinner and then a party. I'm not sure how it's going to work. The point is, there's going to be a lot of big, important, famous people there. Like, like people that I really look up to. People with, with big followings online and lots of fans and all that. All. And how does that make you feel? I feel like, why? Like, why was I invited to this? I'm, I'm nobody. I, I am a serious, gigantic nobody. I don't well, have not. a show I'm doing or any collections out or, or, or a webcomic everybody loves. I mean, I mean, I tried to do those things, but... Nobody cared. I don't have fans or followers. I, I'm not even sure I have friends, like for real friends. I tried. I, I do try. I put my art online and update my social media accounts and I try to post consistently like they say to do, but... But yeah, I'm still in that... It's tough, girl. Zone, just waiting to be discovered. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I was invited to this party thing as a way for someone to be mean to me to remind me how successful everyone else is yeah, we're going why am i there. even going to it i mean i know i should to meet people and make connections or something is meeting people and making connections your goal well i think it is net networking i'm supposed to do networking right i really have no idea what networking is Google Hello, it. I'm Maya. I do comics and art and I write and stuff. And I have lots of characters and ideas and, uh, would you like to give me money and I'll do those things for you? Hi, I'm cool. Please like me. <laughs> like me, uh, like Business me, cards. Me. <laughs> um, oh, God. Get I a good like website me. and just, like, I hope your website and your I business really cards. Really I really hope I make a good impression at this thing. Uh, of course, knowing the way things usually go for me, I'll fuck it up massively somehow. I'll fall into the fondue pot or throw up on someone, something like that. I don't know confidence. if there's actually going to be fondue there. I'm just saying that kind of feels like something I would do. Just confidence, right? That's what, that's what people would say. You sound a little concerned or afraid. Well, yeah, I am. I'm terrified. What if they suddenly remember I'm a failure and shouldn't be drinking their booze and breathing their air? Eventually someone's gonna realize I'm not hip enough to be at this thing. Maybe it'll be polite, like a, a gentle tap on the shoulder. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't have it noticed that you suck and not terrible. <laughs> no, they will just probably just give it's you obviously looks. just my anxiety talking. I know it won't go like that literally, but it could be like that in a figurative sense. Okay, Maya. I want you to imagine things going well. What does that look like? Uh, going well? Well, that would be a first for me. Um, I suppose going well at this party means people start to learn about who I am. And maybe some of them help me with my career. And maybe some of them become my friends. Like, See, I want to be nice. noticed as a creator, but I also want friends who are cool. That sounds super basic. You know what I mean? It, no, is it okay that is cool. Want that? I hope it is. I want to be part of like a group 
and we like each other and support each other and maybe the things I make won't be as good as the things they're making, but I hope they see my work and see me. Yeah, that's... that's what I want. What do you think it'll take to get to this ideal scenario? By going well, to that party takes me with being confidence. A person than the one I am, someone who's cool and alluring and has that air of mystery instead of being some kind of scrawny, nervous wreck. Someone with, with style and grace and poise. Someone who can walk into a room and own it. God, I wish I could do that. But only when I wanted to, because I also wish I could disappear when I wanted to. I this know, person's that's very relatable. A contradictory. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Maya. I have some recommendations for you. First, I'm going to suggest a set of stress management exercises for you to do. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. They may be able to help you with your nervousness. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Lytosinol 2. Why drugs? I feel like... Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. I don't know if she needs better. drugs, drugs right now. Yes. Whatever you said that was called, I am on it. You will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks. I always do. I always get the reminder. I mean, not that I always act on it. Thank you, Maya. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, yeah. Don't you say this every time? Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. They should really change up the greeting, like the, the greetings with the goodbyes, because it would make it seem more personable, but... Hey, we got five stars. Five dollar tip, nice. I feel like we didn't do any to anything to help with that, but uh, how are you um, feeling? That's nice. That was I definitely guess. along the lines of a more typical client. You watched that one too. I couldn't bear the thought of you getting two really intense clients in a row. I just wanted to make sure everything went smoothly. I see. Are you getting used to the system now? Yeah, I think I get it now. Sticking to the script means I don't have to think about anything. I just read the words. That's right. <laughs> Looks like you're getting used to it quicker than most new proxies. They'll say, if only I could just talk to them for real. If only I could say what I really wanted to say. That's a really common feedback point. You're never tempted to break away from the script yourself? Nah, it's just not part of the job, you know? Yeah, I'm sure you've never been tempted about- I learned to compartmentalize nah. pretty early on, and that always served me well. People overestimate their own abilities. Have you ever had an interaction with a stranger where he clearly thinks he's getting along with you way better than he actually is? <laughs> sure. sure, hasn't everyone? It's like that. People like to think they can play therapist. You just gotta be it really seems easy fake, if all you know, you know is mean? the movie version. You know, where you get paid to sit there with your notepad and say, I see, or hmm, every once in a while. The reality is, active listening takes a lot of work. It's much easier to just zone out a little bit and let Eliza run things. It's kind of meditative in a way. You just follow the prompts. I know computers telling you what to do has this negative connotation to it, and people who want to criticize us call it dystopian or whatever. Well, but it's like any technology. <laughs> it's a tool. Ray looks thoughtful for Either a way, you're doing fine so far, Evelyn. This is a busy day, too. We might break our single day record if no one cancels. Is volume especially high right now? It is, yeah. It really rose around the beginning of the year. We've been in the press a lot lately, so it could be that. Could be it's New Year's resolutions, too. People coming in, wanting to sort their lives out once and for all. This year is the year I'm really going to start addressing my problems. <laughs> I mean, I get that. I do the same thing. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I told you it was simple, right? Just keep up the good work following those prompts, and you'll be leveling up in no time. Okay. This is the year I'm going to start addressing my problems. I'll definitely remember thinking that. I remember thinking that three years in a row. 
Ooh, flashback. Oh, wait, it's actually not a flashback. It's just... Never mind. I almost didn't recognize her when she came in and sat at my table. Evelyn! It's been so long since the last time I saw you in person. She was so sick to her, Barry. Huh. Guess she really wanted to put those days it's behind her. It's definitely been a while. Three years? Yeah, Damn. almost three years. Feels like no time at all. Well, I'm glad you're back doing something. But you didn't tell me what the new job is. Oh, well, it's uh, being a proxy counselor for Eliza. <laughs> you're kidding me. That's an interesting choice. I'm not quite sure why I did it. Maybe I thought I'd be able to see things in a new light. Wait, so do the people at the counseling office know? No, no, not yet. I should tell no, them, what? probably. I don't know. What, what secret? That she, was she like a therapist? <laughs> it's unkind to keep it a secret. I'm sure it'll get out eventually, one way or another. Yeah, it probably will. Evelyn, how are you these days? I mean, really, how are you? Cheryl, you are better. Better. Not by a lot, but still better. I knew you were working at that bookstore for a while, but other than that, it's like you dropped off the edge of the planet. Well, I wasn't up to much. I checked your social media once in a while, but nothing. Not that I blame you. I hate all those apps. Yeah, I, I deleted them. I struggle to find the words to talk about what happened, but they don't I come. don't know what happened. It's like... There's something dark in my mind blocking me when I go try to go there. Avoid. I guess I'm still not ready to talk about it yet. It's okay. Take the time you need. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I knew you were in a difficult place after what happened, and... I wanted to say oh something. Oh my god, I, I get it. Maybe you don't want to hear from anyone from your past. Damien Seabrook. Three years ago. She is either a family, family or friend, family member, or some kind of person. I don't know, could be a significant other. Could be a friend. Could be a brother. Could be a dad. Could be anyone. I think that's why. I think that's um, what happened in three years. Maybe you wanted to be left alone and not reminded of the old job. It's nice to know you were thinking of me. Well, I'm glad. I was kind of going through a lot myself last couple years. That's right. What about you? How is your life these days? What's it like being a, a rock star? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work, actually. I have to prepare for the show next week. I have two collaborations ongoing, and I'm applying for funding for another, a big one. I'm also advising on an art activism group that makes art installations to challenge people to think about the ways technology is affecting their lives. Oh, oh yeah, and I'm working on this um, kind of like it's a granular synthesis engine, but with a new twist to it. It should be interesting. Granular synthesis? A lot synthesis. going on. Sorry, I don't know what that is. It's a way to make sounds out of, well, out of smaller sounds called grains. Maybe it's better to show you than to explain in words. Sounds like you're busy, but happy. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Well, I make less money than I used to, but I don't care. Old me might have worried about that. Not anymore, though. Sometimes I do take a little contract coding work, but I'm making most of my rent with booking fees and selling music and so on. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Kind of scary, but good. If it makes you happy, it seems worth it. Maybe I should consider moving in a direction like that. You should. Listen, I hope you can get away from the industry too, at some point. Ah, oh, that reminds me what I was going to tell you about. Our old boss is back on his bullshit. Rainer? Soren? Soren. Soren Lloyd Rose, celebrated psychologist, entrepreneur, and creepo. Mm. I should have known he'd make things awkward. Wait, 
He wasn't ever weird around you? Did I ever tell you about the time that he hit on me with a story about past lives and the threat of destiny? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, this is a good one. Okay, it was early on when the team was still pretty small. Seven or ten people maximum. He I'm gone so out with, with some executives like to dinner. I have no and idea who knows what, they were what else. <laughs> he came back to the office super late. I think it was like at least 11, maybe later. And the whiskey smell was just bleh, surrounding him. Like he, he jumped into a whiskey bathtub with his clothes on. Maybe he'd like to do that, I don't know. Anyway, I was still there for some reason. I was in the crunch mindset. He came over to my desk and started to mumble about, I don't even know how to describe it, just this nonsensical rambling. He started by saying how much he hated businessmen, how ridiculous they are, that they don't know anything. He said that a few times. Then, then he said he could see my soul, that I was like a <laughs> reincarnated spirit of I don't remember. He said some name. Oh, like a person's that's a, that's a name? turn on. Like a mythological name. I didn't hear it very well, but it was like a like a Buddhist spirit or, or deity or something like that. Then he goes on to say how he and I, all of us on the team, were all these reincarnated spirits mm. sent to relieve human suffering at the end of the world. And, and we're connected a by take, a thread you know? of destiny I that draws us to each other about again that. and again over multiple lifetimes. He talked about it like it was just like a red string you could see. So I'm thinking, is this like some kind of pickup technique? You know how people will talk to you and say, Oh, you are the reincarnation of an ancient goddess or something. Ugh, just because they are horny. I'm sure he's tried that exact line. It really sounds like something he'd do. He went on some more like that for a while and I didn't know what to do. I wanted to leave, but he was blocking me where he was standing. So I couldn't simply go, I had to keep listening to him. Finally, he mentioned that he would be open to the possibility of sleeping with me. And then he passed out on the couch immediately. You're kidding. Okay. No, not at all. Of course, we never talked about it after that. Certainly, I would not bring it up. I wonder if he even remembers. Nothing like that happened again. But I think it was because I took care to not be around if it seemed like he was going to be drunk at the office. Good idea. I wonder if he's still that way. I'm sure he is. Wow. And now he's back. Isn't it exciting? He messaged me the other day wanting to talk to me about some new startup he's putting together. He left Skanda? Mm, he's planning to. It's a secret for now. He asked me to join and I said, no, there's absolutely no way. Maybe a long time so ago I'd be interested to work in a Skanda, chance to start a new company with someone famous like Soren at the top. You know, a time when I put up with his shittiness because, because I believed in what we were doing. Change the world, him, right? you know, the speech. So, or I if we didn't change the world, at least we might get rich trying. Still doing something like within the company? Uh, I don't think that way anymore. I'm tired of the tech business. I'm tired of what guys like him represent. This industry can have fun eating itself and everything around it, causing as many problems as it solves. I don't want to be a part of it. It took me a while to see it, but I feel some responsibility for the world we live in now. You've really changed, Nora. It doesn't feel like I've changed. It just feels like I know more about myself than I used to. I want to be creative, be myself to the maximum. Now I know you weren't lying about leaving social media because I posted about this. A lot. Yeah, I guess I missed it. Ah, a lot can happen in three years. Now I just hope maybe I could talk to other people who are in the same situation I was in. I want young people, especially women, to know that yes, it is possible to get rich by working with guys like Soren. But there is a big cost too. I mean, there's always a cost. Maybe a cost you didn't think about before. Or maybe it's a cost you thought you would be okay with paying. But then when the debt comes due, you realize, oof, it's bigger than you thought. Noah pauses for a moment. I wonder what that cost was for now her. that's my conclusion. But you, on the other hand, you should go and, and say hello to him. To Soren. Yeah, he's Why? giving us big keynote talk next week, you know? It's the reveal of his new startup. Many people will be watching. Why she should I go to that? just kind of shitting at him It will be like interesting, don't you minutes. think? You're already working as a proxy for Eliza. That must be giving you some new perspectives. Now you'll get to see what Soren believes the next step is. 
Don't tell me you're not the least bit curious. I don't know. Maybe I am. It's free to attend? <laughs> of course not. It's at one of those conferences you pay thousands of dollars to get into. But lucky for you, I have an all-access pass. How? Here, take it. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, you had one sent to me. As if there's oh. any way I would go to a snake person convention like that. Then where should she go? Snake person. Ah, you know. People who are like snakes. Venture capitalists. Biz dev. If you're so against it, why do you think I should go? Yeah, back to what because I, I already saying. made my decision. You need to go make yours. You're coming out from the cave you were in for the last three years, and you need to decide what you're going to do next, right? No, leans over the table toward me, as serious as Evelyn, you're one of the smartest people I've met in my whole life. I'm serious. I've seen the way you approach things like this. You're going to research and learn as much as you can. And only then, when you feel like you know enough, you'll make your decision. Isn't that right? You have more to contribute to the world. But you want to know you're contributing the right things in the right way. I've always admired that about you. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I have a rehearsal for a show to get to. It was really good to see you, though. Really, really good. I promise not to be a stranger anymore, okay? Noah dashes off to her rehearsal. She's a busy person now. Busy but happy, it seems like. Is that the secret? Keep yourself busy? Maybe. What a day. Been a while since I've done that much in a single day. Hey Evelyn, it's Ray from the office. Just curious, what kind of cookies do you like? Cookies? Yeah. Oh, uh... Okay. Who would say I'm not a, really a cookie person? Brilliant chocolate chip, of course. Ah, the classic. I bake cookies with the team now and then. And I try to mix it up so everyone gets their favorite at least once. I'll say that's nice. Oh, that's a big deal. The thing about baking is, once you start, it's pretty easy to just keep going. You have everything out, so you might as well do a couple batches, or multiple batches, and the cleanup takes more or less the same amount of time. I'm gonna say I like baking too. It's fun. Baking, huh? Cooking in general is something I feel like I could try to get better at. Nice to see you today. Good to see you too. Mmm. We should do that more often. What do you mean hang out? You of course that's supposed to I've got... Yeah, we should. I know I said I don't miss working at a big company, but I miss our old crew sometimes. Yeah. I write software for myself now. It's so much better. Come to my show, though. You're coming, right? Please come. Please. 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 Nora. What? Why would I say that? It's a bad look to beg like that. Okay, I'll go to your show. Yes. Okay, now, why is even just texting with people? Okay, I can't finish. It just, it just, the text leaves before I can click on it. Before I can finish, I mean. I don't really feel like doing anything. Well, fine. What happened? I used to have so much energy. I'd stay up till 2, 3 in the morning, writing code. Then I'd be up at 8, ready to pick up right where I left off. I'm not sure who that person was. Some of these clothes I've had since college. I wish I could reinvent myself like Nora. Not that I would know how. I should tidy up the shelves at some point. I tell myself all the time. 
Some of these books still spark joy, don't they? I had some Marie Kondo reference. I hope they do. These have been sitting there like that for a long time. I meant to put them up. Not sure what I'm waiting for. More mail. Meredith M. Mercer. There's a reason they're called patient games. The trick is not to get ahead of get ahead of yourself. Sometimes what seems like easy forward progress is actually something that's going to get you irrevocably stuck, you know, like life. Think carefully before each move and you'll start winning games. Remember when you had a good head for this kind of thing back in school? So I dare say you just might need to get into that mindset again. You can do that. What is that have to do with what who are you? Hey, uh, seems like my original message might have gotten lost in the shuffle. Believe me, I know how it is. So I'm looping back around on this. I don't know why I'm reading it like this. Any interest in speaking with me about the origins of parametric therapy and Eliza in particular? See below. Um, begin for an... Greetings! I am trying to track down a certain Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, who was the one of the principal developers of the Eliza system. She was one of the principal developers of the... What? She helped develop this? And now she's a... Oh, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. It's all coming together because they were saying how they, like, worked with Skanda or whatever... Skanda, I keep probably saying it. it's probably Skanda, and how she like left, and then that's why she's like, oh, you're being like a proxy now. That's weird, and like it's kind of like she's like she's like on the other side now. She's like flipping the coin. You know what I mean? She's like on her own. I don't know why. I'm... Anyway, that's weird. So I guess she helped develop this. Interesting. If not, apologies, and please ignore. I'm something of a cultural commentator who's looking to write about the early origins of parametric therapy and where it's gone from there. Does it deliver on its promise? What do the people who worked on it think of it now? On a more general level, how has introducing increasing levels of automation to human life affected us? There are some well-known names that seem to grab all the press and speak speaker slots when it comes to the subject, but I am interested in speaking with people who might have a different perspective, maybe more skeptical, e even, or even subvers subver subversive perspective. If you're willing to participate, just let me know and we could set something up in person or online. Whichever works best for you, it could be a great opportunity for you to get your side of the story out there. Love, Peter. Well, <laughs> anyway, we did say love, Peter. Anyway, that's funny. Um, I'll just get to bed now.